I need to make pure music, as in like my albums, I'll just kind of walk around humming things, playing instruments to kind of inspire music. But in the case of film music, I really need to see like, visuals. And I'll usually have as many instruments as I have possible around me to see if I can come up with, with, with you know, unique underscore. My sound, I, whatever my sound is, is something I started a few years back. I decided that orchestral textures for pop songs was underrepresented. So, and because I was, I'm, I'm a violinist and I can write that kind of stuff, I, I kind of really did make an effort to make that my, the focus of my songwriting style. I listened to a lot of dance music and I always loved music from the 60s, 70s. As much as I play violin, I love synthesizers and, and kind of crazy electronic sounds. I go out and tour, it's exciting most of the time, and then, and then I come back to Athens and it's, it's still like, it can, you can have that excitement and you can see your friends, but you can also just relax because it's such a small place and there's a lot of nature around, so I, I love that, that balance. Yeah, so the difference between scoring a movie and making a song is that the song is really just a slave to the song, whereas the, the, the music for a film score is really a slave to the film. It's basically the difference between using your eyes and ears combined or just your ears. The fourth phase, the footage I saw initially when I was trying to work on it was, it was amazing. It wasn't your average like, snowboard movie. Music's a hard thing in these types of films and we needed the, uh, the perfect artist to kind of complement such a unique film. And, and Kay just happened to be that perfect artist for us. Kay's style is very unique in the sense that it's like, you know, it's orchestral, it's string based, and, and we wanted to do something different with this film. Going up to the Red Bull Studios was actually uh, was kind of a treat. I had heard about that studio, and they have a really fantastic world-class studio there. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. So should we play this with this VO yeah. video sure. track yeah, hot? Okay. Yeah. Justin, the editor of the Fourth Phase, he was uh, he's actually a really creative individual in that he chose a lot of the music temp and has a real great feel for music. The good thing about him is he could actually translate because I think he's a musician. I think, that, I think that's fine, Kay. Okay, okay alright, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think it's totally fine. How it is like that. Okay. Alright. Let's uh, sign okay. off on it. Like, okay. Right. okay. In hiring a string section, you need a lot of preparation. You know, you have to you have to write the scores, and then you have to arrange for these players, and you have a, a small, finite amount of time to to get them to record the strings. It's cool how, how music and, and how creative ideas have just come into existence. We brought him in in the last couple months of the film to watch him interpret the film in his own way and then, and then create music based off of what he's feeling has been a really cool process.
We have this particular scene where we're literally going from the mountains in, in Jackson, Wyoming, down to the Pacific Ocean, and we're showing snow melt and then transition down through creeks, down through tributaries, into, the, into rivers. It was really cool to see Kay, like see a scene like that and like give a character to the water. The way that he has written the music, it complements all of the visuals. I mean, with the pizzicato of his strings, it gives life to, to those visuals. So the music for the fourth phase that I composed is very personal because I put, I put my heart into the music and I go with my instincts and I go with what makes me feel emotional about the music. So it's definitely, nothing is, nothing is dialed in. It's, it's all, it's, yeah, it's from the heart.